Voicio, everybody. Those of y'all that follow the channel, y'all know that we are up to our eyeballs in piglets. We got them everywhere. Looking for homes, looking for homes. Lots of little pigs. But other than piglets, let me show y'all what we've got going on out here on the farm today. Let y'all see what we've been working on. You see down here, we're going with more of a back to Eden style, even though it's straw instead of wood chips. Just couldn't get anybody to deliver any wood chips. So this will be our main garden area. We'll do our tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, potatoes, whatnot. Tried to have this done earlier in the year, but COVID kind of threw a wrench in everything for us. And come over here and look. We've actually got potatoes already starting to come through. This is going to be, I think, a really nice crop this year. Lord willing. Looking good. So we got all that mulch down. More back to Eden style. A little herb garden going there. All right here. Start to work on my row of trees again. That's actually a tea tree. We we'll try growing our own tea this year. First of our papayas. I'm gonna have pigeon peas, cold hardy variety from New York planted out here. Papaya. We've got several elderberries out here. And this is a Yapon Holly. I've actually got one at each end and one down here at the bottom. We've got a little uh, willow tree that uh, come by by accident with some other plants. I'm going to let it grow up here and be shade for the male hogs. Another papaya. This is where I had the uh, tropical pigeon peas this last year, all the way down. So, don't look like any of those are gonna come back. So I'm gonna be planting the cold hardy variety and see what I get out of that this year. Another little yapon holly. And then we've got our old garden from last year where we had the corn and the peas. We're going to burn this, clean it up, till it, put some uh, weed fabric down, and flip it so we'll have the corn back here and the peas up there this year. See how that's going to go. Come over here. Looks like I've got neighbors clearing land. It used to be woods. Now it's not. Let's see what happens over there. We've got our blueberry bushes doing good this year. I've actually got a jelly palm planted out there. This is an avocado tree I grew from seed. A little heiss. It's taken off. Looking good. I had it in a pot for the last year. I just put it here in the ground. Got a little Pakistani mulberry that was in the ground over the fall, it's taken off. Up here, my sassafras transplants from last year coming back. Still a few years away from enjoying any sassafras, but it's a start. We got a little botacaba that I planted out here. A little jabo. Brazilian tree grape should do good out here. Some more of my blueberries. We're coming down to my little experiment spot that I worked on. This was my first banana circle, and it's got dwarf namwas, which don't really like our cold weather. 
but they're not having to start over this year. So I actually buried them in the mulch when we'd have a frost and then uncover them. The main leaves still died, but the stalk didn't die like it has the last two years. So they may actually get to take off this year and do something. Tried the trick with my pineapple as well. It didn't like being buried, but it survived. I've got new leaves coming up. It's a elderberry we planted last year from a cutting. Should get some berries from it this year. And this was another one we experimented with. This is my star fruit. I buried her. As you can see, she's actually got new growth coming all the way up. It's actually alive. Pretty much the entire stalk survived after I buried it. I buried it in the mulch during the frost. It's coming back. Didn't work for the jackfruit though. Jackfruit did not like it. I don't have anything popping up there. All of our citrus survived the winter well. This one here is the uh, Mayor Lemon. It didn't really like it, but it survived. And you can look close and see. And some of the nodes, there's new life coming in. It's just really slow compared to the others. I don't think it died. Got several more back there. I'll check these out. Looks like we're going to have a good year finally. Blueberries. Look at all these flowers. It's amazing. The blueberries are prolific this year. Like crazy. Hopefully they'll all get pollinated. My peach almost died last year, year before last when we had the real bad drought. I cut it back. I have some growth below the grass, but this one and this one are definitely above the grass, and I actually think this one is as well. So I'm gonna let them go and see what we get out of it. She's definitely coming back strong. One of my Israeli apples, looking gorgeous. Pear tree over there looking good. Loquat tree. No fruit again this year, but hopefully another year or so we'll see some flowers. Tree looks really good out here. Another pear tree. This is my pineapple pear. Gorgeous, but no flowers this year. Got my asparagus bed. I may have mulched it too late. So it may stunt our crop this year, but should do good. Looks like, yeah, maybe first one breaking through. Take a look at that. Yeah. Yep, that's our first one. Looking forward to seeing what they'll do. Got a couple little apple trees planted out here. Some seeds from supposed heirloom apples that were grown in this area. Put another one right there. And this is my, oh, I can't even think of the name of it now, but it's a white, white Marcel fig. Hiding down here in my lemongrass. I had that in a pot. I brought it out. Let's see what it's gonna do. Got another elderberry there. Pomegranate there. Mulberry, dwarf everberry coming back for the season. Another pomegranate right there. I'm gonna probably prune that one this year. Try to uh, root a couple of the cuttings. And this is the pawpaw tree starting to bud. Maybe it'll do something this year, but I think you need multiple trees, so probably not. Mayhall tree, gorgeous as ever. Still no flowers yet, but good looking tree. So hopefully soon. A wild onions I planted. That's my lemongrass that'll bounce back. And this is Teresa's. Um, let's see. Page Mandarin. Doesn't like the winter very much in this spot. 
but it is shooting out a lot of new growth and it is flowering like crazy so I think it'll look good about another month or so I've actually got citrus stashed all out in there I've got to go ahead and weed through it but all of it's putting on new growth I got a little plum tree here a Burbank that just about died during that drought you got one above the graft and a couple I believe are below the graft so we'll see what the rootstock is on that this is a methyl plum died down after the drought but she shot up some gorgeous branches and here definitely all above the graft so that's a good looking little tree coming back wants to live this was a rescue uh, nectarine that I think is just the graft. I'm just the rootstock alive now. So we'll see what that is. It was clearance. The Ace Hardware and I think the top had already died off. We got another little apple tree down there. And right over here this little guy right here waking up. If I get these bugs off of it. Oh. This is chicksaw plum. They're supposed to be impossible to kill and grow like weeds. And I can't hardly keep any growing here. Compost pile. The woods will be cleaning up soon. And back around to the garden. I'm excited about these potatoes coming in. Well, just wanted to give you all a little preview of what we had going on. A lot starting to grow. You can definitely tell it's springtime here. Well, if you have any questions or uh, any uh, insights for me, I'm all ears. What for watching?